Is it me or is there just so many cute bags to choose from from Coach lately? Hello everyone, welcome back to a mommy review. So today I want to talk about the brand Coach and the bags that they offer. The different types of handbags that they have, whether shoulder bag, hobos, crossbody, totes. I want to talk about them all. Um, specifically, I want to talk about some of the hottest handbags that are out on Coach right now. There's a couple that I've been eyeing and I've been seeing a lot more Coach on social media as of late compared to previous years. I do think that Coach is making a definite comeback and they have a really good arsenal of bags to choose from to kind of help them along the way. So let's dive right into it. Now to start off, I think that this is a no-brainer for one of the top contenders for the hottest bags and that includes the Pillow Tabby Shoulder Bag 26. This comes in black and beige right now and is available for $595 on Coach and I just think this bag is just so on trend. I love how pillowy soft it is and the the subtle um, same color as the bag kind of logo C on it. Um, the Napa leather, the smooth leather, has just looks so refined, so clean, and I've heard so many good things about this bag, and it's all over social media, and with all the influencer, I feel so compelled to try it out, and it comes in different sizes, and definitely one of the top, top, top contenders, if not the most popular coach bag of late in 2022. And it's quite reasonably priced too compared to some of the luxury brands bags out there. Now the next one I want to talk about is the Studio Shoulder Bag with Quilting. That's around $595 Canadian on the Coach website right now. I'm personally not a big fan of the bag, but I do like the size of the bag and the gold hardware. It makes it a little bit more classy. And it's made out of the Napa leather as well and has a push kind of like a signature push lock closure as it's very spacious inside and I can see this as a classic my only down point or con related to this it does remind me a little bit of those insulation foam that you find stuffed inside packaging and shipping for boxes so that's why I don't feel as compelled towards it but it looks very functional and if it weren't for like the line I guess some vertical line structure would totally be on my wish list. Another one that I mentioned before that I really love is the Willow, Willow Bucket Bag and it comes in these block colors as well. It's polished pebble leather so then it's not as um, it's more scratch resistant and also has multiple functional pockets inside with a center zip compartment for some of the items that you want to keep more private and secure and has a turn lock and snap closure which I really like as traditional bucket bags generally are open and I feel like there's less security if you're in a area where there's a lot of flow of traffic or public transportation I just don't feel safe that people can just like slip their hand into your bag and just grab maybe steal your wallet or whatnot so I do like how there's that closure it's quite reasonably sized and priced at 425 I think it's a very reasonable price strap uh, bag with two straps included as well. So you can have a crossbody and also over the shoulder, like very first. Another bag for the top contender for the, one of the hottest coach bags of the season right now is the Tabby Shoulder Bag 26. Now this bag has been out there for a little bit now. It's a modern take on the archival 1970 coach design of a structured tabby shoulder bag and it comes in actually many different colors and block colors and it has a signature hardware of like an iconic touch and I really like how it has a short shoulder strap and also has a wearable crossbody that is quite wide and looks pretty comfortable. It looks very classic and look, I can imagine myself wearing this like 10 years from now and should still be fashionable and still very signature for coach so i would definitely think of this as a top contender 
for being on my wish list for my next coach bag to add to the collection. Of course, another bag I wanted to mention is the Willis Top Handle. Now, this is this might seem understated at first, but when after looking at it a few more times, it's really grown on me. It has a one credit card slot, inside has a sip and multi-functional pocket and a turn lock closure. I just find that it's simple, yet classy, and I think it will stand the test of time. And it has these straps that you can detach and make it into a shoulder or a crossbody wear bag. One that I also wanted to bring your attention to is the Lori shoulder bags, priced at 495 Canadian. It's like the soft pebble leather and I can see it being a perfect mom bag. One of those bags with a center zip compartment for some of your more private items that you want to secure. And at the same time, um, I feel like it's very roomy. You can throw in a lot of essential items when you're heading out with your kids and you never know what you'll need. So it's easier to just kind of pack everything just in case and it feels like one of those bags that is very casual fashionable and at the same time very functional the hayden crossbody in signature canvas is another bag i've been eyeing it's very classy has a signature coated canvas a refined calf leather and then also has that C logo in the front with a detachable strap for both shoulder or crossbody wear. And that's what I'm seeing for a lot of the hottest coach bags now that it has a lot of multifunctionality for how you can play around, decorate your bag by detaching the straps or changing the length to a shoulder and crossbody length. And I think that is just so smart because a bag is not just about um, being one way of wearing it but like having fun with your bag and wearing it in different styles on a different day depending on you your own mood um, really makes a difference and makes a bag so much more fun the ellis satchel is one that actually not something i had initially been drawn towards because i'm not really into big bags nowadays but uh, after being a mom of two i find that i always have <laughs> have need for extra room in my bag whether for is an extra box of snack or granola bar or just something extra like napkins or hand sanitizer because you never know what you need and this bag just seems to be a great go-to bag with a top handle and you could also comes with a shoulder cross body wear strap and it's not too out there with a giant coach loco it's subtle enough that I has a little bit of a minimalistic feel that will likely stand the test of time so definitely uh, one to watch out for I think it's a perfect bag for every day with a very convenient exterior zip pocket for you to put all your essential items like your car keys house keys or if you have a transit pass and just seems like a very just functional bag with a splash of fashion into it because you can play around with the strap as well. The studio shoulder bag is around $550 Canadian. It comes in a couple of different colors. I like how structured bags is because I don't like how bags over time if they're very floppy like the hobo bags and they lose its shape it just looks very unkempt. So I really like a structure bag and this bag covers all those bases i like the hardware on the front it's a little bit of like a decoration on a very i wouldn't say bland but very simple classic bag also has adjustable strap for shoulder and crossbody and outside open pocket and a push lock closure which i'm not sure if i'm in love with a push lock closure i just imagine that i'll probably scratch the hardware a lot so that might be a con related to the bag the kip turn lock crossbody reminds me a little bit of the cassie bag that was discontinued previously it's very minimalistic but looks really multifunctional and has an outside open pocket as well with detachable strap for shoulder and crossbody i really like how it has a mini top handle on the top um, 
and overall just very simple nothing fancy no bells and whistles but does the job and seems like a total workhorse for a functional bag around $275 which is pretty reasonable for a glove tanned leather bag of course a coach hottest bag review cannot go without a camera bag because camera bag is a must for every I guess bag collection for any ladies out there because a camera bag is just so functional um, this one's made out of soft pebble leather has a one card slot which is super convenient and a zip closure inside is fabric lining which is okay um, I think that helps to justify the price related to this, what's, this one's around $350 and has a detachable strap and looks like the strap is a little bit unique in that it's not just a traditional leather strap as well but definitely I use my camera bag all the time and I find it so helpful as it matches with a lot of types of different outfits and I can just throw all my essential even though it looks so small it can really pack a punch and pack all you need and then just Winding down now, the last item I want to talk about, it's not necessarily a bag, but it's actually the mini taggy, tabby bag charm in Signature Canvas. I just think it looks so cute. It's, um, it's coated canvas with polished pebble leather and suede and has a snap closure and fabric lining and outside slip pocket. Uh, it just looks so dainty and cute and has attached like a key ring on it, so it does have a splash of functionality but i feel like it is such a cute addition to the collection um, of course it does come with the price of 115 dollars which you could get a nice bag in other brands or, or maybe a nice card holder as well so i'm not sure if a bag charm is necessarily on everyone's wish list so that is my review of some of the hottest bags for I'm seeing on Coach right now. Do you agree with this list or are there other Coach bags right now that you feel definitely should have been on this list? I would like to hear from you because right now I feel like the Coach brand is really trending and there are some really cute bags out there at affordable prices that definitely should be considered for any bag lovers collection well at least consider for that collection well i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video if you enjoyed this type of content please consider like and subscribe it really helps with the channel well bye for now friends and stay safe